hemlock woolly adelgid, uh, which is an invasive species from Asia, infesting eastern hemlock here in Michigan. The easiest way to tell if you have a hemlock woolly adelgid is obviously the woolly white masses you're going to see on the tree. This tree is very heavily infested, so you can see there's woolly masses on almost every single needle here. They'll always be right at the base of the needles, never on the bark or anywhere else. So between mid-March and July, uh, the adelgids are in the crawler stage, which is the only mobile stage in their life cycle. Once they complete the crawler stage, they find a nice little needle and they settle in and they insert their mouth parts and they start sucking juice out of the tree. At that point, they start growing this sort of woolly covering to protect themselves, and they remain that way for the rest of their life. The needles will slowly turn yellow and eventually fall off, leaving the tree to die. Well, the masses you're gonna see are usually there year round. Um, they, after the insect dies, the woolly mass will remain there for another year or two before it falls off. Hemlock woolly adelgid can kill a tree in four to 10 years, depending on how vigorously the tree is growing. If the tree is under drought stress or other environmental stressors, the tree may die faster. So how do we identify hemlock trees in Michigan? Hemlock trees are evergreen trees with short, flat, blunt-tipped needles. So some hemlock trees will have these very small cones. In their native environment, hemlocks typically grow on sandy slopes, think like dune slopes and areas like that. So they're very important for stabilizing erosion in those kinds of areas with their broad root systems. A hemlock woolly adelgid only affects eastern hemlock, which is the only hemlock we have here in Michigan. So efforts to slow the spread include public outreach to show people what's happening if their tree looks like it's declining and what to look for, and insecticide treatments can also be applied. If you're looking for what pesticides to apply, check MSU Extension for recommendations. What the average person can do to help, if you're camping or doing any kind of recreation in areas that are known to have hemlock woolly adelgid, especially between mid-March and July when the crawlers are present, be sure to lint roll or clean your clothes very thoroughly before going into other areas where hemlock woolly adelgid is not present. The crawlers can get on your clothing and easily transfer to uninfested trees. Once they reach this woolly stage, they're not as mobile and they can't brush off on you and they won't be transported. If you are outside of a quarantine county, you should not remove the insects from the tree. Take clear pictures and go to michigan.gov HWA to report the infestation. Protecting native species from invasive species such as hemlock woolly adelgid is very important for maintaining Michigan's biodiversity. For more information on invasive species in Michigan, you can visit michigan.gov slash invasives.